guys, today I have a chit chat get, it re get ready with me. Um, yeah, I kind of did this look that did not happen the way I wanted it to. Um, so um, yeah, I'm going to show you all the products, I'm going to give you the opinions. I used a lot of new products today and uh, I don't know, I had a hard time with this tutorial and it's exactly what I didn't want to do. Like I was not looking to do heavy makeup, I was looking to do something like dramatic but not like this. I don't know. I feel like I'll buy her a little bit. But <laughs> if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Uh, yeah. Just keep watching. Okay, we're gonna get started. I gotta pin back this hair. This hair, look, you see how long my hair is all of a sudden? Uh, today I'm going to my sister-in-law's birthday party. I believe it's her 60th, so I'm just going to get ready with you guys. I'm going to start with my uh, Smashbox primer water. All of my face. This is the It Cosmetic CC Cream. I'm in the color Fair. Just a pump on the back of my hand. My Flat Top Kabuki Brush by Sigma. It's the F80. I'm not really feeling like heavy face makeup today. Honestly, I haven't been wearing a lot of foundation lately. It's just not what I've been doing. Sometimes you just don't feel like it. I'm gonna conceal. This is my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've got a couple little spots. Bolts. Not the major. Today for brows, I'm gonna use. I'm showing you my Too Faced Compact. Like, I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Compact for my brows today. Clever. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna use this as a mirror. I'm going to be using my hourglass um, thing for brows. I'll bring it in close now, actually. All right, there's something on my viewfinder, and I thought that I had a smudge on my face. And I was like, what is that? What is that? Very concerned. Okay, my forehead looks really cakey. What's up with that? All right, I have to go fix that. Okay, that was really, really weird. Like, this... This uh, CC cream never looks cakey, and I got up close and I was like, oh, it looks cakey. Weird. So when I started to do my brows, I was like, uh, pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. Weird, man. I think it was the foundation. Like, I think it was the concealer. The concealer didn't sit well with the uh, foundation and just kind of went berserk. That was weird. All right, so I kind of just wiped it off with a, a thing and redid my forehead. That's a great start. All right, I'm gonna do my eyebrows now with my hourglass. That stupid peeping. Oh, with the hourglass arch brow sculpting pencil. You think I know what this is called by now? But no, I don't. Actually, you guys have seen me do this a million times. I'm gonna go do this off camera. You have. You've seen me do it a million times. I'm not sure, but I think my eyebrows might be crooked. <laughs> you know how you have one of those days where you just can't seem to get them straight? I feel like I'm having one of those days. Um, if they're crooked, please just ignore them. Anyway, I'm going to prime my eyes using Painterly by MAC. Uh, you guys know this is how I rock every single makeup tutorial. I just can't help myself. This is the ultimate in eyelid primers for me. I never found one that I liked. I started with the original Bare Minerals one. Uh, that's when I first learned about primers, when I was way younger, way younger, way younger, <laughs> and uh, I've switched Urban Decay, I've tried L'Oreal, I've tried Too Faced, I've tried Tarte, uh, I've tried everything. Tarte? Did I try Tarte? Did Tarte have one? Finished. Finished. Fries, today we have two options. I have the May the Starlight Be Your Starlight Double Duty Palette and the Rainforest by the Sea palette. Let's see, let's see. I have not touched either one of these, so let's see which one we want to use. Tarte one, mmm, smells like cream. Looks like this, really pretty. And then we have this one. They're all just like cool neutrals, like cool plummy neutrals. I'm gonna do the eye and cheek palette, honestly, because um, I can do eyes and cheeks with this, and then I don't have to hem and haw over what I'm gonna do for my lids. I mean, for my the rest of my eyes. Oh, this doesn't have a highlight shade though. All right, so you know what? We're just gonna do with that highlight shade. Let's start with Ladies' Night, which is this kind of cool matte transition shade. Oh, I'm using my Sigma 
uh, E40. I had to look at the name for a second. All of a sudden, I couldn't remember what it was called. Okay, now I'm going to take a fluffy brush, just a, uh, I think this is a, uh, yeah, Coastal Sense 250. And I'm going to take this Twilight shade, which is just kind of a slate purpley gray. And I'm going to put that right in the crease. I'm getting a little out of control with this shade. How did that happen? Lost control. Not cool, man. I'm going to go back in with the original transition shade with the fluffy brush and blend it. Just like regain control. This shadow's going on very patchy. Which I don't normally have that problem with tart shadows, but this, this, first of all, eyebrow hair is driving me crazy. They're very dusty for tart shadows too. You know, like when I dip the brush in, they seem very dusty. Okay, I'm going to do both of these sparkly shadows on the lid. I'm going to start with this darker shadow, which is called Sparks Fly, and then I'm going to move on to a Glimmer. So I'm going to start with Sparks Fly on my outer lid here. It is hell windy, guys. I just wanted to tell you that. It's so windy outside. It's crazy. I'm going to flip my brush over and hit up Glitter. Glimmer. We're going to put that on the first half of the lid. What do you think? Originally I wanted to do like some bright green makeup or something like that today, but because I'm going to a party, a 60th birthday party, I didn't want to show up wearing like crazy makeup. Like crazy, crazy makeup. Even though my family is used to it, it's just, I don't know, I just didn't want to do it today. Okay, I feel like this could be more interesting. <laughs> I'm going to go for Stiletto, which is that dark shade in the corner and a little bit on that same blending brush I've been using. And I'm gonna work that into the outer V. Just wiggle it. Wiggle it, wiggling it. <clears throat> outer V action. Okay, now I'm gonna go back over it with um, a Sigma E, not Sigma, yeah, this is a Sigma E40, but this is a less fluffy one with a little bit of Twilight. I'm just gonna grab like a little tiny brush like this and I'm going to Mac Fix Plus it. I'm going to take some of a glimmer and I'm going to use that wet for the beginning of the eye. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the blush and I'm going to use that as an eyeshadow because I just want to warm this up a little bit um, and just add a little bit more pink to it. So I put some on my one of my E40s and I'm just, let's dust that around the edge. I need a highlight shade so I'm going into my Naked Basics palette and I'm grabbing Walk of Shame. I'm going to put that under the brow. Okay, I want to be honest with you guys. These aren't my favorite. This isn't my favorite Tarte palette. I feel like these shadows, every time I touch my eyes, just blend away. And I'm getting a little, like, I don't think it looks bad. But it's like, where did my outer V color go? Like, it just blended away. And I find that to be a little annoying because I hate going back and repeating steps needlessly. So I'm going to go back in with Stiletto and add that back into the outer V. Like the color completely disappeared. Like I get I was blending other colors, but it shouldn't just, I don't know, dust away. See now it's like I'm blending the edges and I'm like scared I'm going to either muddy it up or take away the color. Originally I was going to do teal, but I think I'm going to do lavender instead. I think it'll be pretty. This is the color M92 by Makeup Forever. So let's do this on the lower lash line. It seems kind of light. With my e.l.f. smudge brush, I'll go over that with glimmer. Just to give it a more natural look, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just playing. That was completely pointless. Yep, completely pointless. But now I have to, of course, repeat it on the other side or else I'll look unbalanced. Totally pointless. Let's ditch this lavender. This lavender eyeshadow eyeliner would probably be better with another look. Let's go for this darker purple. The I-90. Now I'm going to go for the blush under the eye. The blush that came with it. Alright, I'm going to take a little bit of that stiletto, which is that darkest shade in the palette. And I'm going to bring that onto the, just the, the outer part of the lower lid. I'm trying to rescue this look. I'm having a lot of trouble. This eyeshadow palette sucks. Sorry, Tarte. This eyeshadow palette is awful. I was looking for a little bit more blendability with these eyeshadows. 
I didn't think they were going to be so damn hard to keep the pigmentation where I wanted it without it getting muddy. That's the problem for me. Let's get up some black liquid liner. Originally I was not going to use liquid liner for this look, but now I kind of feel like I have to. Yeah. So. Alright, I'm going for my tattoo liner by uh, Kat Von D. Let's do a wing. Okay, so I put on some winged eyeliner. Uh, I'm just hoping this gets better with mascara, guys, because I'm like, really not liking this look. I'm going to tight line. I don't to mention I have, look, look, like, look at how easily that eyeshadow wipes away. It just goes, whoop. Mascara. Sometimes what happens with me is that when my lashes are really super blonde, and I'm doing a look like this, I hate it because I don't have mascara on, so. Okay, so I put mascara on the top and lower lashes, which definitely helped the look for me. Uh, okay, so let's see if we can't completely fix this with some concealer under the lower lid. Now for the lower lids, I'm gonna powder them up. This is a new brush that I got recently uh, in, I think it was BoxyCharm. This is the Luxie 512. And I'm just going to use this for my Serenity, with my Serenity Scott Press Powder Foundation. I'm very upset about this palette, you guys. I did not think that it was good at all. Like, powdery, annoying. Ugh. Yes, I know I have a red spot right there. It's a piece of dry skin, so I try not to cover it. I'm not going to cover it up like crazy, because I know it's just going to come through anyway. Ugh, beeping. I need to change the battery. On my home phone. Now with just a fluffy brush, I'm going to take the palette again with the blush brush. With the blush. Even the blush I'm disappointed in, really. Go under the lower lid with that. Just warm that lower lid up. Okay, for highlight, I'm just going to use my Candlelit uh, Glow by Too Faced with my fluffy brush. I'm going to mix the two colors together. And I'm going to put my highlight on. Ooh. And then for blush, I am going to use this blush in the palette. Like, I've never seen an Amazonian clay blush do this. It never does that. Like, ever. Very, very peculiar for, for Tarte. Okay, for lips, I'm actually going to stick with Tarte. I'm going to use this. This is uh, the Tardis Lip Pencil in Later Gram and in the color TBT. So I'm going to use these because these are actually a pretty nice nude combination. Let me use these too. You seem to kind of go with this look. Truth be told, I could actually go for a lighter lip than this. I'm going to start out with the tart, you know, the TBT, and then I'm going to add something to the center. I'm going to go for this um, Magic Wand. This is an Ultra Satin Lip by Colourpop. The light this up. This is the finished look, guys. This looks kind of, like, I can't say that I'm entirely happy with the way my makeup came out today. Um... Yeah, I'm probably going to wind up taking this lip off and going with a lighter lip when I go out later because the eyes are just like way darker and like way too much for what I was going for today. But, um, you know, I'm okay. Like, listen, I'm still going to post this video because I want to keep it real with you guys. Sometimes you use makeup and do looks that you're not crazy over. And this is more like a chit chat get ready with me. So I wanted to keep that real with you guys. Um, yeah, so this is what it'll look like. Uh, if you like the look, awesome. I'm not crazy about it. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. And yeah. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. I couldn't leave you guys out. I switched the lip. I switched the lip to... This is Rose Clip by NARS. Yeah. I like this a lot better. Even though it's over, I just want to show you. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye.